this is Paige from Mosaic Moments and today I am doing a demo on the Steps die set. Right here I'm holding the 4x4 Steps die which is really large. So in order to use this one you will need a 5x7 photograph or use pattern paper or card stock. This set also comes with 4 1 inch squares which I'll be using today and I'm just going to show in a moment how you can use these. So on the that far bottom right corner I have the 3x3 three three step die and then I have those one inch squares so you can kind of see that they're meant to go in those extra spaces between the steps and dies. They're an option you don't always have to use these but they do come in the set and again I'm going to be using those today along with this 3x3 three three step die. So whenever you use the steps die, you will definitely want to plan out your page before you start cutting. So before this video started, I did plan out where each of my photos are going to be placed. I also have two of this grassy photos that will kind of frame the page. You'll see that at the end. And I did take the time to make sure my subjects fit within that three by three step die space and I did take into account of which direction the step die is going to be cut. So be sure to plan out your photographs before you get started. All right, so I already did create the rest of my page here with the basic die set and in the center is the Chippendale die. So go see that on snapandcrop.com. All right, let's get started with the demo. First, I'm going to go ahead and cut with the 3x3 step die. As you can see here, my subject fits right into that space so I don't cut it off in an awkward way. And as you can see, I just rolled it through the machine and it was finished just like that. This is a very easy die to use. All right, I'm rolling it through again and each time I'm about to cut with the step die. I do make sure it's cut, being cut in the direction I want so that when I place it in my page, my subject will be in the right direction so I don't place them upside down or anything like that. So mainly when you're cutting, definitely pay attention to what direction the step die is going. All right, I just started cutting this grassy photo and I'm just showing here how you can actually with the 3x3 die you can cut the photo multiple times or at least twice or just twice actually. Alright so I'm getting that sky part and then you can place it right on the edge of your last cut to get the bottom portion of your photograph. Once you cut each piece now you can use your repositionable glue and place them on the grid paper. When you place them on the grid paper, just take your time. Those steps, parts, <laughs> can be a little bit tricky to line up, but as you can see, it's not too difficult. Really what you want to do with any piece is you want to take slowly inch that photograph so it barely covers those grid lines. So as you can see, I'm kind of slowly inching up there. All right, so that was pretty easy. That's why it's important to plan your page beforehand. All right, so these last four photographs, they kind of look like they're framing the whole page and they kind of appear as if they were cut from one photograph rather than two. So that is one neat effect you can create with the steps die is to make this kind of frame look. All right, again, I'm carefully placing on my grid paper and you can pay attention here how I glue it. I just put it, a little bit of glue on each step basically and in the corner and some right in the center. All right, next I'm gonna be cutting with these one inch squares to fill the rest of the space. Since you have multiple one inch squares, you can line them up together. I'm using magnetic plates, so they're kind of a little wonky there. But what's nice is you can cut all of them all at once. So you could get four squares at a time like I did here. I cut that with the blue paper and now I'm cutting a second piece with the orange and I'm going to be cutting both colors once more. Of course, once you're done cutting each square, you can add them to your grid paper. All right, so I have my glue here again and I'm gonna stick a little bit on the back of each square. And then of course, I'm gonna carefully place each square on my grid paper. So just take your time, just 
inch a little bit over that line and play, glue down the square once that line is just barely covered. All right, and you can always check back to make sure your squares are all straight. And of course, you can see they each square fits perfectly within those step die spaces. All right, now my layout is finished, and I really like how it came together. I think it's a the step die set is a great way to showcase your photographs. All right, this concludes our demo today. If you enjoyed watching the steps die in action, be sure to like this video. Also, if you haven't already, if you would like to be updated on future tutorials and demos, definitely subscribe to our channel so you will be notified when we post a new one. We do a video pretty much every week. All right. I hope you enjoy today's demo and enjoy using the steps dies at home and I'll see you next time.